hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please click the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back to watch me in today's video we are going to be installing this unit from shein it is a teapot 13 by 4 with three claw clips two on the sides and one at the bottom it also has an adjustable strap uh, first things first you are going to put your wig on your head and then you push it back and you also need to clip the sides back so that it doesn't disturb the installation what I like to use to install my hair is got to be I love got to be I say by got to be so first things first you need to add your first layer of got to be glue spray around your hairline I don't like to do the bold cap method because this one also works well for me and then you are going to dry your first layer uh, with a blow dryer on the cool setting so that it becomes sticky and tacky after that then you will proceed to add another layer of got to be glue up until you feel very comfortable with how uh, the tackiness of the glue feels I personally like to do three layers before I do the top layer uh, on top of the lace so this is me testing out if it's tacky enough and starting off with my second layer of the got to be glue and then you just proceed to do the same thing um, three times you blow it again on the cool setting and then again your third layer Once you are done with your third layer, then you can start um, putting your lace on top of the glue. The tricky part now is when you have to also make sure that you use the clips to adjust your wig and to make sure that you secure it and tighten it. So the glue is going to be very tacky at this point. So the minute you put your lace to it, it's going to stick. So you have to be really quick and make sure that um, the lace doesn't fold while you're doing the step now you are going to um, take out your baby hairs and make sure that the lace is um, laying very flat onto the glue so this step is just you making sure that the lace is extremely flat before you do your final melt and then that's it once you have your baby hairs you just flatten it again for the last time and then you are going to start uh, cutting out your baby hairs make sure that it's laid from ear to ear and then you can proceed with cutting your baby hairs out and laying them i probably love to use this brush to lay my edges or my baby hairs it's very very efficient when you want to do that i love it so so much and after you've laid your baby hairs you need to go back in with the got to be because it helps the hairs or the baby hairs to lay flat as well because sometimes your baby hairs will you know stick up or stick out because they are not laid flat then you just make sure you go again with using the got to be and if you do have excess hair on your baby hairs after you've cut them you can go ahead and cut them again like so mm. 
and then go back with the got to be a lot of people like to use mousse as well for this step but i just feel like uh using the glue makes much more sense to me and then once you have your baby hairs laid flat you're going to use this um what do they call it elastic melting band uh to melt your lace and then you are going to now deal with the rest of the hair please keep in mind that this is a kinky straight unit and i wanted the bushy look you know i wanted it to look big bushy and not really bone straight so i did not straighten the hair because it was previously straightened when i wore it the last time so i only went in with a comb and yeah just made sure that it's not tangled or anything like that and it doesn't look too tacky just making it look absolutely neat because i will not be straightening this unit in this video because i wanted the kinkiness of the hair to actually show and that's basically it guys once you've done this all you can do now is use a wax stick to flatten the top or just to you know make sure there aren't any flyaways sticking out at the very top and then you go back in with your hair dryer and then this time you can use um, the hot setting uh, it does not really matter and then you take a few wipes or rubbing alcohol and then you remove the excess glue that may have um, went down on your forehead or your face when you are busy um spraying the cut to be because it does really really like um flow down to your face especially if you're using a lot like i do because i genuinely want to wear my insoles for a few days that's it then this is what the hair looks like i genuinely love this hair guys this hair is from shein I will try my best to link it down below if I still have the link because it was sold out the last time I checked on um, the app. Thank you so much and bye.